Hi there, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane. I'm a professor of medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in inflammatory bowel diseases. And I'm here to just discuss with you two articles that just came out recently in the literature in regards to in vitro fertilization uh, in the IBD population. So patients who have had a J pouch procedure done to treat their ulcerative colitis are at increased risk for infertility and it's not because of the disease itself, it's because of the surgical procedure that they've undergone that the, their fallopian tubes get scarred and that there is inappropriate travel of eggs down to the uterus. And so a lot of these women who have had J-pouches uh, end up needing in vitro fertilization in order to get pregnant. And the concern always was, well, because of the surgery and my condition in the past, am I as successful at being able to conceive than women who don't have ulcerative colitis or who don't have J pouches. And so what's nice is that recently the group at, in Boston at the Harvard group have looked back with their colleagues in the in vitro clinic to look at this very question. So women who had ulcerative colitis in a J pouch were compared in terms of their success rate on the very first in vitro trial and it turns out that women with a, with a J pouch are just as fertile and have similar success rates for first time uh, implantation and live births as women who just need the in vitro clinic for other reasons. So that's all really good news. If anything, the success rate might be even a little numerically higher uh, than the healthy population. So. If you are a woman who has had ulcerative colitis in a J pouch, or you have ulcerative colitis and you're considering surgery, that getting pregnant naturally can still occur, but if you do need in vitro fertilization, that it seems to be very successful. Now, if you just extrapolate that and ask the broader question about, well, I don't have a J pouch, but I have inflammatory bowel disease, and I need in vitro fertilization, what is my rate of success with that? And so the same group at Boston have published a second paper that just came out in September this month of 2015 suggesting that just having a diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease does not decrease your success rates. And again, looking at women with IBD, either Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, who are compared with the healthy normal population, that their in vitro success rates are again similar if not a little bit higher than those who do not have IBD. So at the bottom line here ladies is that your uh, fertility success rates are not compromised by your diagnosis.